Hello and welcome to the Ascendo Traders Group, uh, where our website is blog.ascendotraders.com, where we put together effective video technical analysis trading plans on a daily basis. We have been going down this road together to financial literacy. And the reason why financial literacy is so important, you know, something that was really been put out there by the Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, and that is that there's nothing wrong with watching my videos and taking my advice on what stocks to trade, what futures and all that, or, you know, you get a newsletter or uh, paying uh, uh, some guru or, you know, watching Kramer, all that's good. But what's important is that you're able to take that information and make your own educated decision. Um, if you can't do that, then you're at the whim, and you, you don't really have a trading style, you have a following style. So here we have a guy in our cartoon talking to his broker saying, well, the broker saying the market was bullish, then it turned bearish, and now you're brokish. And see, that's the thing. If you just let someone else trade your money or invest your money, and you don't you know, question them and, and really find out what is your best investment vehicle, what is your risk tolerance for whatever that strategy is, then you, know, you really can't fault them for losing your money. So as we continue down that path to financial literacy, we are kind of going through a basic training where we're trying to educate ourselves on all the different investment vehicles that are out there, futures, forex, stocks, options. And then we chose futures as our best investment vehicle. Now, again, go back and watch some of our other videos to understand why we made that decision, but we're going to keep moving on. Then we put another video out there on how to develop a trading plan. Again, that's one of the most overlooking uh, parts. And again, there's nothing wrong with paying people to, to give you advice, but your trading plan should then have you interpreting that advice to make sure that it's uh, viable. Then you got to choose a broker to invest that strategy, that trading plan. And then you as a trader have to develop a toolbox. You got to pick your supplies. You need to have everything ready to go to start trading. And then, of course, you got a paper trade. You got a virtual trade. You got to practice, practice, practice. Many people say up to six months before you ever put a single dollar in there. But once you prove that you're profitable in uh, money, now you can implement your trading plan and make adjustments as time, um, the current market uh, changes. So today, as we go down this financial literacy path, we're going to focus on picking your supplies in your trader's toolbox. And we're going to focus on a couple things. Every trader should have some type of charting platform, uh, whether it's we use telecharts. Um, and think or swim. Um, you gotta, you gotta have some charting platform. Then, obviously, you gotta understand what the heck's going on with the chart patterns. What, for, what are they forming? What does that mean when they start to form? And then we can get some confirmation with technical indicators. But today, we're gonna focus on price charts in our charting platform. So, what type of charts are there for our investors? Well, we're gonna look at a line chart, a bar chart point and figure charts, candlestick charts, and finally hiking a sheet charts. Let's begin. So we're going to begin by looking at line charts. And line charts you might say were the birthplace of the statistical technique of analyzing a stock. Um, again, it's just a simple line focusing on basically the current price or the ending price of the stock. And it does not allow you to get uh, distracted by any of the other information that happens on a day-to-day, -day, basically whatever time period you are looking at. Uh, the advantage over the open high, low close chart or a bar chart is that it, it's one line. And so it's easily uh, able to draw your uptrends and your downtrend. And again, you're making your investment decision on that stock that, or whatever uh, investment vehicle you're using on one thing only and one thing being price. You're not concerned about what else is going on. But that is what we get exposed to when we look at bar charts. As you can see, we have an open price, open denotation, a high denotation, a low denotation, and a closed That's where we get the OHCL, uh, open, high, low, close. So with here, we get a great visual account of the performance of the stock over a period of time on a daily chart, on a five-minute chart, monthly chart, whatever it is, you get a good visual representation of what happened. And again, you can see that we have vertical lines showing the high and the low price, and then we have a horizontal line denoting where the stock opened for that time frame, time frame and where it closed for that time frame. And you might say the open, high, low, close charts really give you much more information and really um, began the technical analysis of the stock um, for uh, investors. 
pointing for the charts, um, you know, may not be as calmly known. Um, uh, I've I only looked at them briefly. I'll be honest that I don't use point and figure charts. But here also, like the line chart, we are focusing on just the price. And one thing that is not taken into account on a point and figure chart is time. And basically, a rise in price is denoted, and also a falling price is denoted by the column. So that's what we have here, are rising and falling prices within the column. This eliminates uh, any minor movement, and it's easily to chart um, support and resistance um, with the point and figure chart. I mean, it's easy to see that there's buying comes in here and selling happens up here. Um, there's our selling, our buying's down here. So t trends, support and resistance levels are very easily identified in point and figure charts. And now we're going to look at one of the more popular uh, forms for uh, interpreting price uh, action, and that is candlestick charts. And they basically show the same information as bar charts, however, they're more visual. Um, they still indicate the open and the high uh, and the low and the close, but you see that the bodies, the real bodies, as in our diagram here, um, are filled in. Um, still, just like bar charts, they're easy to interpret and a good place for beginners to start for our chart analysis. Um, your eyes uh, easily adapt to the bar notation. Uh, most of these candlestick patterns have real crazy names like shooting stars and rising three, falling threes, which help you remember the patterns. And um, candlestick uh, charts also are real good for showing uh, turning points like reversals in uptrends and downtrends. And now we have the Heiken Ashi charts. And Heiken Ashi is just a Japanese word for average bar. And so they are a version of candlestick charts. However, um, the way that they are actually formed are different because they are calculated on a different standard than candlesticks. They look just like candlesticks, but again, the method for calculating them are different. Um, they are slower than candlestick charts, and therefore their signals are delayed. Now, you might say for futures, why would you want a slower um, uh, indication? And that is because when you're thinking about futures and currency pairs that are so volatile and have a lot of whips and wicks, um, having a Heike IC chart will keep you in the trade longer and not allow you to get as um, dis distracted by the wicks because of their calculation. So again, this will keep, prevent you from rushing and making mistakes about trading against the market or getting out of a trade too soon. And this is only really good for your shorter time frames, the five, three, two minute charts. And then for those of us who are using tick charts, I can actually are very good for that. So let's take a minute and compare the high can I see uh to a candlestick chart. And so there are a couple key points to talk about is that when you a high can ASCII chart will look more smooth. Uh, again, because of the calculation, you're not going to get the wicks on the top of the bottom of a candle that you're going to get in a Heiken Ashi candle. Therefore, the uptrend is going to look smooth. And on an uptrend, the candles are hollow. And the downtrend is also going to be smooth without uh, an upper shadow. And the uh, downtrend uh, candles are filled in. Uh, so therefore, when the trend is weakening and you start to get the shadows, that is an indication that maybe you want to get out of your trade. So let's take a look at that. Here is a candlestick chart, and we can see that we have it going up and over. We have some gaps in here, and you can see the wicks on the top and the bottom of the chart pattern. When we bring in the Heiken Ashi charts, we can see the same uptrend here, but it's nice and smooth. And right here, when we get our first couple candles with the wicks, that's also where we see the, the uh, kind of consolidation up here. And again, that's an indication that you might want to get out of tr the uh, trade. Uh, but more importantly, you can see that you're not distracted as the stock is going up. And similarly, as we go down 
here on the candlestick chart and look over here you can see no wicks at the top and you're fine now again this is just a real quick introduction to Heiken Ashi candles uh, uh, we're going to put a more detail where I'm going to pull up some chart patterns um, that video is coming next this is really just part one but I wanted to go ahead and introduce all of the chart um, analysis pa uh, patterns out there so that you can get a good overview so as we end part one of our introduction to Heiken Ashi candles we do want to show you some of our partners and specifically want to talk about our charting platform. Again, uh, Heiken Ashi Candles is the best way to, for our futures and forex traders. So we have a, a good link for you to get a good charting platform and we have some other offers for you to take advantage of.